The Keshavji Naik Chol in Girgaon, Mumbai. This is where Tilak started the tradition of the Sarvajanik Ganesh festival in 1893. No loudspeakers, no attention getting displays in this mandal. For the 150 families that live in this Chol, it is tradition that is central to the Ganesh festivities. <laughs> A lot of freedom fighters uh, used to stay here and they have visited our festival. We have still maintained the tradition and uh, simplicity is our base. And uh, still we conduct programs like uh, general knowledge competition for uh, standard 8 to 10. You know. Elsewhere for 13 days every year, Ganesh takes over the city and the streets. This year, the arrival of the god coincided with the end of the month of Ramzan. The advent of Eid lights up Muhammad Ali Road and draws some of the faithful to the Haji Ali Dargah. And on the same day for the Jains, it was Samatsari, the holiest day on their religious calendar, a time to seek forgiveness from friends and family for any hurt they may have intentionally or unintentionally caused them. At the same time, the Feast of the Virgin Mary, her birthday marked by 10 days of a carnival-like celebration centered around the church of Mount Mary in the suburb of Bandra, but drawing crowds from across the city. A convergence of holy days that prompted much internet humor and pride. But this convergence of festivals was also reassuring for a country that frequently has its pluralism tested. The spectacle of faith is nowhere more visible or public than in Mumbai. The streets of the city become the theatre for the ebb and flow of every ritual and each community. But the streets of Mumbai also become the theatre for the violent side of faith its riots and the bomb blasts. Now, as a court in Allahabad waits to give its verdict on the Ram Janmabhoomi Babri Masjid issue, in 24 hours this week, we look at these contradictory realities that collide and coexist in the city of Mumbai. Radhabai Chol, an incident here, became the most notorious symbol of the 1993 Mumbai riots. Media crews are familiar here. Residents have lived with the infamy that this is where the Bombay riots is said to have started. When on January 7th, 1993, a Hindu family was burnt alive in their home. As news of this spread, there was violence against Muslims across the city. What followed is well chronicled. At the outset, residents are keen to point out the real name of the Chol. This is the gun. In 1992, when the Babri Masjid was here, where were the six people who killed him? Hindu 